Yo, I'm getting five to the four lucky ladies you picked out of the bin. They're all up in my grill. the thing on. Hi. I'm Janelle Gong from the Bronx. Daniel, you know why I'm saying. You know why I'm saying. You know why I'm saying. I'm saying I'm from the Bronx, yo. <clears throat> and I work at the local Dairy Queen. And let me tell you, I bring all the customers around because, hey, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Ian Fox, you are a fox. And he is foxy. Let me tell you, he is foxy. He's my number one man. And you know how I'm going to win him? Tell you my secret. This mole ain't real sure it's the biggest thing since Britney Spears boobs. Well, I think they're fake, I don't know. <coughs> That's the smell of victory right there. Past dating history. I've dated many boys. I've dated Daquan. I've dated Daron. I've dated Shaniko. I've dated Bob. I saw you my number one secret. That's not the album. That's not the album. No. Uh. Hold on. Let's go. Come on, baby. Uh. This is my pride and joy. My mama told me when I was seven that girl you wanna invite the boys to look at your boobies, make them look more welcoming. You gotta put a little blush on it. Well, I took it one step further, and I'm doing the lipstick brighter, more vibrant. Check the eyes right to here. More welcoming than a welcome mat. That's why I would say. My name is Virginia Fernandez. I guess the real reason I'm here is because straight up I want to be on TV. Also, I want to make out with a hot guy on TV. Also, I just want a hot guy to watch me making out with a hot guy on TV. Nothing gets more hot guys than jealousy. And if I can make out with one hot guy on TV, I'll probably have a lineup of more hot guys for the rest of my life. I moved here from California, I moved there from Delaware, I moved there from Portugal, and I moved there from Russia. Those are all in the USA, right? Regina Fernandez has done many, many jobs. She was a waitress, she was a high school teacher, she was a lawyer, she was a lawyer's mom, she was a lawyer's lunch maker, she was a lunch maker for anyone who wanted to buy her lunch for a while. She was another waitress at a different restaurant, she was a, a crab claw cracker for rich people, then she was a caviar picker, then she was a grape picker, then she was a wine squisher, then she was a cracker salter, and then she was an up salter, and then she was a clown for a three ring circus. Right now, all she's looking for is a new guy to join her life. And I swear, if he doesn't pick me, I will eat nothing but pizza for four days, then I will throw it all up and send it to him in an envelope. I will also put very important on the front, so he definitely opens it, thinking it's something really nice. Maybe I'll even hack into his computer, find out something that he ordered recently, then put that on the title so he thinks it's what he ordered. Then I'll open it up and just buy my bar for it. That's how much I want to win, and that's what's at risk here. So if you don't pick me, then Gary Burr barf the package, asshole. I'm not planning on winning. I'm just planning on winning eventually somewhere, somewhere along the line in any aspect of my life. So I don't have to end up like a claw cracker for rich people or a caviar picker or a grape picker or a cracker salter again. Uh, okay, so I'm supposed to answer some questions. My name, my job, where I live. Okay, name. My name is Jenna Jameson. Not that one. Everybody always asks. It's not me. 
obviously. <laughs> I work the graveyard shift over at Cold Stone Creamery. It's really exciting. And during the day, I make fake IDs for 6th graders because they pay really well. And sometimes they, like, burn me CDs and stuff. So, hometown. That's a funny story. I lived in a commune in Arizona until I was, like, 10. Um, with some guy named Ralph. He said he was my dad, but I'm not really that sure. Why am I here? I ran away from there with this girl named... What was her name? And then... I went to Israel for a few years because I just really didn't have anything better to do. Then when I was like 20, I moved to... Canton, Ohio, because I didn't have any money and I didn't speak that language over there. A secret about me, I guess, would be that I have dimples. People don't really see them very often because I, no, I don't smile. There they are. Kent Fox? Kent Fox. And I think I saw him on TV once when I was like doing my laundry in Chinatown. I don't know. But they seem to like him over there in Chinatown, so it can't be all that bad. Yeah, gotta go, so... Alright, pick me. Yeah, I saw four girls, and my decision is...